Saya, congratulations on the victory, man. I mean, how long are we? How many more of those do we have? Do you have in you? I mean, I feel like every time you you get in that cage, it's some type of slugfest, and it ends in an exciting finish like that. I mean, obviously, I was in a bad position in my career. Uh, leading up to this fight, I, I I couldn't even focus on my fight. I mean, you see what's going on in Palestine? It's unreal. And that's all I've been thinking about. My family, I have family back home in Gaza. And this, this was a hard one. Obviously, a little extra added motivation. I mean, talk to me about how you were able to maneuver through the, the mental aspect of this training camp. Honestly, it was just, like I said, I cannot stop thinking about my people. And if they could survive at all, there's no way this guy was going to take me out. I was going to have to be woken up to be let out of there a loser. You know, I was going to fight till, till I couldn't breathe. To be honest, he, he was going to have to choke me out. And I knew he was dangerous with his choke, so I went for a takedown. I filmed him try to grab my neck, and I, I, I abandoned it. You know, the game plan was to take him down. But I said, you know what, I'm going to go out on my shield if I'm going to go out. And I just, you know, I think I just fought with a lot of emotion. Uh, it wasn't my best fight, but uh, I got the win, and uh, I'm just happy to go home and see my kids. For sure, and coming into this one, you had, uh, it's been a little while since you, you, you went in the win column. So uh, in, that, in, in that regard, how much did this win, this win mean to you? This is the most important fight of my life. I mean, everybody knows it. I love everyone here, all the staff, from the bottom to the top. You know, they're like family to me. And I knew if I lost this fight, you know, I would've got my check and would've kept on contact and, you know, on Facebook and that would've been it. So, I still got a lot of fight in me. I'm with the new team now, down at uh, Fortis MMA with uh, Coach Dave. I have my two, my brothers coaching me. Ramez and Abdul, and uh, you know, these guys really opened up my game to being a full mixed martial artist in the small amount of time I've been there. Uh, like I said, I know I didn't stick to the game plan 100%, but I got the win, and I know that that's all that matters, but I'm excited to come and fight again and be a little bit sharper next time, hopefully have my head clear. I won't have so much on my shoulders from what's going on overseas to being on a losing streak and not, you know, worrying about how I'm gonna pay my bills after this fight, so. So it meant, it meant a lot. And, and, uh, I guess, what do you think's next for you? You feel like you can still, uh, you can still contend with some of the best at the top of this division? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm getting older. You know, I'm getting a little bit slower. Uh, I am getting smarter. Uh, I didn't fight too smart this fight, but uh, I am getting smarter. And uh, you know, I, I got a few more fights in me. I still have a couple fights on my contract that I'm pretty sure I secured with that win. So. You know, I guess the right fights are the ones that matter. I want to put on good fights. I want exciting fights, obviously. You know, I, I hate boring fights. He came and uh, gave me an exciting fight. You know, he went out there and he banged it out with me. He didn't have to do that. You know, he has a lot of submissions. He could have went for a takedown. Not once did he shoot on me. And, uh, you know, I want fights like that. Fights that are going to be exciting. Fights that people are going to talk about. All right, we'll take a couple more here. Ahmad? Uh, hi, sir. It's Haman Van from MMA Diagnosis. Uh, congrats on the victory, man. I mean, uh, you know, you won a losing streak, and you got a big win uh, this fight. Um, how, how are you thinking? Are you thinking a top 10 opponent now? After a knockout, you knocked out a guy with a very good record. And one more thing, how did you feel representing the Palestinian people worldwide with this KO? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, this one, like I said, this fight wasn't for me. It was for my people back home, trying to bring awareness to them. To what's going on and uh you know i want to send some, as much money as i can out there like we've been trying to put money together and you know do so me and my family try to help them however i can and uh you know moving forward you know i'll see what they call me with you know i never turn down fights and uh you know i, I believe i'm one of the best fighters I still believe i'm one of the best fighters in the division uh the rankings don't mean much to me you know it's a bunch of you know excuse my you know language but it's, uh, it's a bunch by a bunch of journalists who who made the, the rankings, you know, and none of them put on gloves in their life and then they're making rankings for, you know, like one of the best organizations in the world or probably the best organization in the world. So uh, the rankings don't mean much to me. There was, there was a time when, you know, when there was in the rankings and I, I was the number one guy, I felt like I was the number one guy and I never got a title fight. So it's gonna keep fighting, put on exciting fights. And, uh, you know, if it's a top 10 guy, let it bring, let him come. If it's not, I'm just gonna keep fighting as long as the fights make sense and they're exciting to me and for everybody to watch. You know, I'm going to take them and we're going to keep moving forward. Thanks.
So, so no. Harry? Hey, if I got Harry Mack from Bookie's Basement. Congratulations on the big win. Thank you. So, uh, kind of a, a weird finishing sequence there that we don't really see too often. So, I just wanted to know, what did you say to the ref uh, before he stopped the fight there? Uh, oh, I said he was out, man. I, 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 as soon as I dropped him, the, I think it was the second or third time, like the last time, his eyes were looking a different way and his body was facing one way. And the ref, like when he looked at him, it looked like he was looking at the ref and the ref got closer and he kept looking in the direction that he was like stuck on. So then the ref looked, realized, I was like, dude, he's out. Like, I'm not going to pounce on someone that's, you know, can't respond. You know, it's not right. I'm not trying to give the dude brain damage with the unnecessary blow. You know, we all have families. We all want to keep fighting and, you know, we don't need unnecessary damage. All right, last one, Roz. Hi, man. This is Roz from Everything the Area MLA. Um, I just wanted to kind of ask you in relation to your comment earlier about the rankings and being the number one guy. So, um, just in terms of 2021 and, you know, 2022, if it does extend, um, is the title something that you want to have another run at? And uh, if so, um, how far do you think it is from your reach at this moment? I mean, I have no clue, you know what I mean? Like I said, the rankings change all the time and it's a bunch of journalists that, that are changing them. There's guys, they have guys ranked in there that fought nobody's when they first made the rankings. So to me, they, they, don't, they don't make sense. I mean, if that's what you need, if you need to beat the number one guy to, to get a title fight, then, you know, that's what I'm gonna have to do. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I've been here, you know, when some of these kids were in grade school, you know, and I'm getting older, so I don't have much time to sit here and just try to build, build, build. You know, I, I definitely want big fights. And if, if the fights are gonna lead me to a title fight, you know, that's. And that's everybody's end goal. You want to, you know, you want to retire at least, you know, holding that strap at least once, you know. I know how hard I've worked and I know, you know, I, I can be a champion and I, I should be a champion and with the right fights, you know, it's going to happen. All right. Thanks for the time, Syed. Congrats on the win. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for your time. Yeah, thank you, guys.